Hi, Pat. You're right. Hi, Soph. Yeah. Yeah. Um, can you see everything? Yep. Yeah. Um, all about up here. Can you hear me? Yep. Can you hear me? Yes, I can. Brilliant. Right. Seems like. Yeah. Seems like. Oh, I'm really good. How are you? Yeah, not bad, thanks. Oh, it's good to be back, isn't it? Yeah, I'm really looking forward to oh, this. Me too. <laughs> Although it's empty, isn't it? Yeah. Are we still rehearsing? Yeah, I think so. So are we streaming it then? Yeah, I reckon so. Oh, but what about the audience interaction? Yeah, we're going to have to cut that. But the, the panto bit, I mean, that's like a third of the show. And it's almost pretty much all audience interaction. Yeah, it's going to have to go, because, I mean, we can't encourage the kids to scream at us. Comedy fresh. Yeah. Morning. Ooh, morning. morning. Hi. Hi. Um, right, would you like the good news or the bad news? Good, good news. news. Good news, OK. Um, the good news is we are still going to try and do the live show. Mm -hmm. um, it is going to be after Christmas now, though. Yeah, but and, uh, it's a Christmas show. Yeah. I know. Um, but Pat thinks he's got some ways of tweaking it, making it less Christmassy. Um, which does lead me to the bad news. Pat's not here today. He's not very well. Oh. Um, it's not the virus or anything. He's just a bit under the weather. Uh, but that's why the camera's there. He can see and hear us. He's going to rehearse from Morning, me. guys. Oh, right. oh, Pat, hello. Oh, bless you. You're not very well. Yeah, I've just had the squits and stuff. Mm. Been up all night. So, Pat, is it right that it's, it's not going to be a Christmas show now? Yeah. How's that going to work? Because the show's called A Proper Victorian Christmas. And it's all about what the Victorians used to do at Christmas. Yeah, well, now it's a proper Victorian winter. Oh. So uh, whenever the script says Christmas, just change it to winter. Yeah, but all the songs are Christmas carols. Yeah, yeah, they are, Deck. But, um, you know, we could still use some of them in the bleak midwinter. That's really just about winter. Um, the holly and the ivy, that's kind of just about holly and ivy, you know, yeah. winter stuff. Look, we'll give it a try. Uh, we'll go from the top and we'll run up to the first song, which is In the Bleak Midwinter, which is a, a lovely winter song. Um, sorry, just before we start, um, I've just had a message from Anna. She's not going to make it today either. She's, ooh, she's stuck on right. a road in some flooding. OK. Um, so, would you do me a favour? Yeah, mm -hmm. would you fill in for her? Oh, yeah, no, that's fine. Oh, I can wow. do that for today. Oh, yeah, well, you know the songs and stuff, and it will really help Deck and Lynn out. She will. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Brilliant, guys. I'll tell you what. Let's run it from the top, and uh, we'll run it up to In the Bleak Midwinter, but whenever the script says Christmas... Change it to winter. Change it to winter. Change it to winter. All that's right. one. Let's give it a try. All right. Here we go. <laughs> in at the deep end. I know. Um, are you ready? Uh, yeah, I think so. OK. Good evening, everyone. Yes, good evening to you all. And welcome to our proper Victorian winter. Yes, merry winter to you all. Yes, merry winter to you all. And what would winter be without a proper Victorian winter choir singing the nation's favourite winter carol in the bleak midwinter? So? Oh, yeah. <laughs>
Fine, yeah, carry on, and we'll see what the next bit's like. The Victorian winter was a very different affair to the commercial winter we know today. In Victorian times, winter was all about the birth of our Lord, Jesus Christ. Oh, sorry to stop you there, but this all sounds quite Christmassy still to me. Yeah, I don't think this is going to work, Pat. The whole show's very Christmassy. Oh, uh, Pat. The next song is actually We Three Kings. Yeah, and this whole section's pretty much about the birth of Jesus. Mm. I mean, the, the birth of Jesus is quite Christmassy, isn't it? But it is very Christmassy. Dictionary definition of Christmassy. Mm, yeah, mm. yeah, it is quite Christmassy. Right. OK, leave out all the birth of Jesus stuff mm. and uh, jump to the holly in the ivy. Um, introduce it as a lovely Victorian winter song about winter plans. A just improvised deck. See what comes to you. Um, OK. Um, um, the Victorian winter was in many ways like ours. Um, they had the same evergreens growing in the country. Yes. And the Victorian winter choir used to enjoy celebrating these evergreens with songs like this one. <laughs> One, two, three, one, two. The holly and the ivy, when they are both full grown, of all the trees that are in the wood, the holly bears the crown. In the rising of the sun, and the running of the deer, the playing of the many organs, we singing in the choir. The holly bears a blossom as white as lily flower, and Mary bore sweet Jesus Christ to be our dear Saviour. Oh, the rising of the sun and the running of the deer, the playing of the merry organ, sweet singing in the choir. The holy bears are very as red as any blood, and Mary bore sweet Jesus Christ to do for sinners good. Oh, the rising of the sun and the running of the deer, the playing of the many organs, sweet singing in the choir. The holly bears a prickle as sharp as any thorn, and Mary bore sweet Jesus Christ on Christmas Day in the morn. Oh, the rising of the sun and the running of the deer, the playing of the many organs we singing in the choir. Yeah, it's quite Christmas. 
Christmassy, that one, isn't it? Yeah, very Christmassy. There is quite a bit about Jesus being born. He gets born several times. Mm -hmm. Um, yeah. yeah. It is quite Jesus-y. Oh. Right, OK. Right, we won't do the carols. Um, oh. Let me have a think. Well, maybe we could do some normal hymns or maybe some traditional English folk songs. Mm -hmm. I mean, do we know any? Um, Scarborough Fair. Oh, yeah. yeah. Is that Victorian? -y? Oh, I, I don't know. Yeah, I can Google it. Hang on. Um, yeah. Scarborough Fair. Actually, yeah, whilst I'm doing that, why don't we all have a Google and see what we can come up with? Yeah, yeah, good idea, Soph. Yeah, let's all have a Google. Uh, we'll pick some songs we like and then we'll rehearse them. Oh, OK. okay. Right, guys, let's run that from the top. Good evening, everyone. Yes, good evening to you all. And welcome to winter in Victorian Britain. Picture the scene. Snow is laying on the ground. Logs are crackling on the fire. The streets of Leek are lit with the warm glow of gas lamps. There is no television. There is no radio. Yet under the warm glow of the gas lamp, stands a traditional Victorian choir. Entertaining the neighbourhood with sweet melodies like this one. One, two, three, four. Sleep, my child, and peace attend thee all through. Actually, Deck, that was pretty good, oh. yeah, we'll run with that. Um, I'll tell you what, I'll rewrite all the intros and we'll go with those new songs. Oh. Um, so, mm -hmm. would you do me a favour, would you send them to Anna so she can practice them? Yeah, OK. Um, Shall we call it a day there, then, for today? Go yeah. home and practice the new stuff? Yeah, great. Yeah, yeah thanks for today, oh, guys. Thank Brilliant you. Thanks stuff. Thanks. See okay. you in the morning. Bye. See ya. <laughs> Struggling a bit, 
get with the, some of these harmonies, though. Oh, I know, yeah, but we'll get there, won't we? Yeah, of course we will. Oh, no, Pat, are you there still? You're not well? Yeah, Again. I'm afraid so. Oh. Lynn's still not right. Oh. Hey, uh, where's Anna? Um, I don't know. Mm. Morning. Oh, morning. Morning. Hi. Um, would you like the good news or the bad news? Good, good news. news. Yeah. Okay, so good news. Uh, we've got some new song intros for you. Mm -hmm. uh, so we'll go over those in a minute. Um, and we have a new show title. It's now called In the Leak Midwinter. <laughs> oh, I like <laughs> it. Yeah. I think it works. Um, so yeah, bad news. Um, still no Anna. Uh, her car got waterlogged in the flooding yesterday, oh, no. and she's got no other way of getting here. Of course right. she hasn't. Um, okay. Uh, so would you mind filling oh, in? I can step in again. Oh, it's oh, fine. Brilliant, yeah. brilliant stuff. Right. Um, let's go from where we left off yesterday. The next section was going to be the panto bit, mm. but we're scrapping that. Oh, good. But don't worry, Deck. You still get to be a dame. Uh huh. So, uh, would you show Deck his new costume and go for the new song Ooh. with him? Yes, yes. Oh, come on, Deck, you're going to love it. It's great. Mm. <laughs> Music halls were popular entertainment on cold winter nights in Victorian England. Originating in bars and saloons, they were a relaxed affair for the masses and cads like me. Scoff, scoff, bish, bosh, ding-a-ling, mic-mac, rompy bumpy hurrah! Unlike theatres, the patrons could eat, drink and cavort. And let me tell you, I've done my fair share of cavorting with the young ladies of Link. <laughs> scoff, scoff, bish, bosh, ding-a-ling, mic-mac, rompy bumpy hurrah! They could do their cavorting whilst also being entertained by singers, dancers, mimes, comedy acts, male impersonators, and female impersonators, just like our very own Delilah Wilson. Uh, I don't think this is a good replacement for the panto, Pat. I don't think the kids are going to like it. In fact, I think it's going to scare them. We'll just give it a try, Deck, and we'll see. Ah. You look great, Deck. The kids are going to love that. I highly doubt that. <clears throat> I love my little cat, I do. Its coat is oh so warm. It comes each day with me to school and sits upon the form. When teacher says, why do you bring that little pet of yours? I tell her that I bring my cat along with me because... <coughs> Daddy wouldn't buy me a bow wow. Daddy wouldn't buy me a bow wow. I've got a little cat. I'm very fond of that, but I'd rather have a bow wow wow. We used to have two tiny dogs, such pretty little dears, but Daddy sold them cause they used to bite each other's ears. I cried all day at eight that night, Papa sent me to bed. When Ma came home and wiped my eyes, I cried again and said, Daddy wouldn't buy me a bow wow. Daddy wouldn't buy me a bow wow. I got a little cat. I'm very fond of that, but I'd rather have a bow wow wow. I'll be so glad when I get old to do just as I please. I'll have a dozen bow wows then, a parrot and some bees. Whenever I see a tiny pet, I'll kiss the little thing. To remind me of the time gone by when I would cry and sing. Daddy wouldn't buy me a bow wow. Daddy wouldn't buy me a bow wow. I've got a little cat. I'm very fond of that. But I'd rather have a bow wow wow. Yes, I'd rather have a bow, wow, wow. Oh, how was that? I liked the bombing. Come again? I liked the bombing. Oh, oh do you mean like the bum, bum, bombing? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, bum, yeah, bum, yeah. bombing. 
Actually, do you know what? I liked it. Oh, yeah, that's a keeper deck. Oh. Right, um, the next section is about Victorian melodrama. Um, you're going to be introducing that bit, Deck. Dressed like this? Yeah. Uh, so, would you go and find Deck his intro? Yeah, OK. Are you... Are you drinking red wine? No, no, it's, um, cranberry juice. And you're drinking it out of a wine glass? Yeah. <laughs> After the English Restoration, British theatres were forbidden from performing serious drama without a patent. It wasn't until the Theatres Act in 1843 that small theatres, like this one, were finally allowed to perform spoken drama. This gave rise to the popularity of the Victorian melodrama, where the action often followed the hideous deeds of the villain, which was played with cloak-waving moustache twirling gusto by the actor. <laughs> I am the villain of this piece. <laughs> it is my dastardly actions you will follow. I have a plan that involves treachery deceit, lust, and murder! <laughs> there is a hero! And his damsel! At least there is for now! <laughs> And take his damsel! I am willing to deceive him, blame him for my crimes, and even murder him in order to have my wicked way with his girl. If my deceptions fail and she will not have me, then I will take her by force! If she still will not have me, I will be forced to murder her in the most brutal manner. For if I cannot have her, no one can. <laughs> How was that? Oh, I think he's asleep. Yeah, he's asleep. Mm. It's probably because he's not well. Yeah, that's probably it. Mm. Yeah. Yeah, he's not well. Um, well, anyway, um, lovely work, both of you. Um, and uh, let's call it a day, and I'll see you same time tomorrow. Oh, oh thanks. Cheers. Night night, Pat. now that she actually doesn't want to do it anymore. I've tried ringing her and her boyfriend answered and said, what have you done to her? She's not right. And then he said something about breaking her or something. I mean, 
it was odd. Um, so anyway, yeah, I don't think she's coming back. Um, so that does mean that I'm going to have to be in the show as well now. It's not ideal, I know, but I mean, it, it can no, still happen. You, yeah, so. it'd be amazing, honestly. Morning, guys. Oh, morning. Oh, look, Pat's still not here. Yeah, I'm still not well, oh. Dag. Mm -hmm. Right, so uh, has Sophie told you the news? Yeah, yeah. Well, I for one think it's a good thing. Sophie's going to be great. Yeah. I mean... She'll have a lot on her plate. She's still assisting me. But, um, she enjoys a challenge. Don't you, Soph? Yeah. Yeah. Anyway, sorry I dozed off yesterday. It's the illness. I've been kept awake a bit. Um, Soph said you finished the melodrama bit. We um, did, yeah. I won't go back over that. Soph said it was great, and I trust her. Um, I was thinking about adding a new song here. What? Have you heard of TikTok? Oh, yes, I like TikTok. Yeah. Right, well, yeah, I hadn't heard of TikTok, but anyway, I was watching the news yesterday, and apparently all the kids on this TikTok are loving sea shanties. Oh, yeah. Yeah. So, um, I was thinking maybe to grab a few young people in to watch the show, maybe we could do a sea shanty. Because, oh. uh, they were around in Victorian times. Yeah. Yeah, but maybe not in Leek, though. Yeah, Leek's about as far away from the sea as you can get, mm. Pat. Yeah, yeah, it is, Deck, but uh, the Victorians like to go to the seaside for their holidays. Oh, that's true. Yeah, that's true, isn't it, Lynn? So we could talk about that or something. Yeah. So, um, so, Ooh. would you uh, go and find a sea shanty arrangement? Oh, and rehearse it with the guys. And, um, yeah, we'll see what that sounds like. I'll see you in an hour. Hey. He's just crowbarring stuff into the show now. Oh. We've just been to the seaside. We Victorians really love going to the seaside. It's what we do for our holidays. Whilst we were on holiday at the seaside, we heard some fishermen singing this rousing tune. <clears throat> One, two, three, four, five, six. Way oh, way oh, way oh, blow the man down. Way oh, way oh, way oh, blow the man down. Oh, blow the man down, Johnny, blow him right down to me. Way Crown. Give me some time to blow the man down As I was a walking down Paradise Street to me Way blow the man down A sassy flash clipper I chance for to meet Give me some time to blow the man down Oh blow the man down Oh blow the man down to me Way blow the man down Oh blow the man down for a half a crown Time to blow the man down. Way oh, way oh, way oh, blow the man down. Way oh, way oh, way oh, blow the man down. Come on, you young sailor man, listen to me with a way. Blow the man down. I'll sing you a song of the fish in the sea. Give me some time to blow the man down. To blow the man down, oh blow the man down, oh blow the man down to me. Way, blow the man down, oh blow the man down for a half a crown. Give me some time to blow the man down. Blow the man down. The boy 
boys and the girls on the pier to flock. Give me some time to blow the man down. Oh, blow the man down. Oh, blow the man down. Oh, blow the man down. Crown. Give me some time to blow the man down. Way oh, way way oh, way oh, blow the man down. Way oh, way oh, way oh, blow the man down. How was that? Yeah, that was brilliant, Deck. Oh. That's a keeper. It was a good idea of mine to get that song in. Yeah, that's going in the show. Right, uh, let's move on to the next section after that, which will be Bertram Rumbumbly. Oh. <laughs> Could we uh, take that from the top, please? Arthur Bowler and his character Bertram Rumbumbly was a very popular act on the music hall circuit. The Bertram Rumbumbly character was always slightly tipsy and on the verge of defecating and being sick. The audience heartily enjoyed shouting out the catchphrase, How's your tongue, Bertram Rumbumbly? <laughs> oh, my tongue! My tongue! Oh, my tongue is fine! For I am Bertram Rumbumbly, not Bertram Bum Rumbly. <laughs> Barely a blip or plop of porter or ale have I partook. Just look, good sir, just look at how finely I can make merry my feet. Oh no, it was very real. He, he was very popular in the music halls deck. Yeah, this is great stuff. Carry on, carry on. She touching it and keeps falling off. Um, uh, um, um, <clears throat> you have a very unkempt moustache, sir. How dare you! I brushed it last week. Last 
last week? Ah, uh, yes. It is a fine moustache. Very well groomed. Unlike the pigeon in your cupboard. <laughs> pigeon? In my cupboard? How dare you? Depends on how long the show's running at. I mean, we might have time to fill. But I reckon we could get away with five minutes of that. It was great stuff. We won't, we won't for now. Uh, Lynn, oh, yeah. uh, can you go, in, go into the next intro for me? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Well, I think we can all agree that the universal appeal of Bertram Run Bumbly still holds today. It really is quite remarkable how the comedy hasn't dated at all. I wouldn't be surprised if in a hundred years, watching a man defecating and being sick will still be as popular as it is today. And so it was. There was murder in the theatres and cavorting in the music halls. Yet there was still a sleepy cobbled street in the covered in snow where huddled under a gas lamp a Victorian choir could be heard singing a soothing melody. It's really nice and everything, but it's very summery for a winter choir, that. Yeah, but it is very nice, though. Yeah, but very summery. Yeah, it is summery, but it's a choral show, Deck, and you have to remember, people have come for the music, you know, so 
As long as it sounds nice, I'm kind of happy. Oh. Is that cranberry juice again, Pat? Yeah. Yeah. It's a bit early for cranberry juice, isn't it, Pat? Anyway, right, um, there's supposed to be another song here, but I think we need a different Victorian act that isn't a choral number, you know, um, like a dance or a mime or an instrumental. Um, yeah, I'll tell you what, I'll give you all an hour to practice something each and we'll stick the best ones in the show. Um, sorry, Pat, right, so when you, when you say just practice something, what, what, what do you mean? I, you know, anything victorian -y that you can do, you know, that's not a choral number. You know, like traditional dances or any uh, Victorian theatre or music hall act stuff. Right, um, OK. <laughs> Right, Lynn, have you got something to show me? Oh, yeah, um, I've prepared a, a mime, if that's all right. Brilliant. Victorians love the mime. You ready? That was brilliant, Lynn. Oh. I didn't know you could do mime. Oh, yeah. Yeah, you, that, that's amazing. Well, obviously, that's a keeper. That's going in the show. Oh, that was... thanks, Pat. No, no, thank you. That was brilliant. Oh. Um, Sophie, yeah. have you got something to show me? Um, yeah, I've just quickly prepared a dance, actually. Oh, brilliant. Uh, the Victorians loved a bit of dance. Let's have a look. OK. Oh, Lynn, would you get the music for me? Oh, oh yeah. Uh... Yeah, so it's a bit, a bit rough around the edges, but yeah, there it is. That, 
That wasn't rough around the edges. That was um, beautiful. Oh, yeah. Oh, thanks. I, I actually found that very moving. Oh, okay, yeah. good. Yeah, I didn't know you could dance. Yeah, a um, bit. Yeah, was, was that ballet? It was classical ballet, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Did you know ballet dancers in Victorian times were prostitutes? Yeah, maybe we can make something of that. Uh, anyway, anyway, that's by the by, that's something to think about. Well, obviously, that's a keeper. That's going in the show. Yeah. Thank you very much, Sophie. Okay. That was brilliant. Uh, Beck? Yeah? Have you got something to show me? Um, yeah, I've got a little something new. Is it all right if we use this chair? Yeah, absolutely. Cheers. Um, yeah, it, it was a bit of a downer, that deck. Uh, if you don't mind, I won't put that in the show. Oh, Pat, Pat, uh, uh, Declan could always join in my mime if you want. Oh, no, 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 Lynn, no, you did that brilliantly on your own. Sure. It, it would be a real shame to ruin it. Um, um, maybe Deck could play a prostitute in Sophie's dance. Yeah, maybe yeah. I could do that, couldn't yeah. I? Anyway, Lynn, uh, Soph, your bits are going in. They're both keepers. We'll have a little practice of those uh, before we move on to the next song, Green Sleeves. <laughs> Thank you. 
joy. Green sleeves was my delight. Green sleeves was my heart of gold. And who but my lady green sleeves? Ah, 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 ah. That one's very summery as well. Um, okay, why don't we leave that one for a bit and um, just mm. go back and do some hymns or something? Uh, yeah, all right, go and practice a couple of hymns. So, um, are we finishing on In the Bleak Midwinter then? Yeah, yeah. I think that one seems the least Christmassy yeah. of the lot. And the show's called In the Leak Midwinter. Yeah, that's right. Do you know what? Maybe we should sing in the leak midwinter? Yeah, oh maybe. Yeah. Ask Pat. Are we still asleep? Pat? 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 Oi! Pat! 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 Pat. Pat. Sorry. Pat. Yeah. Sorry, oh, yeah. Sorry. Uh, we were just saying that we've decided to finish on in the bleak midwinter, but how about we sing leak instead of bleak? Um, yeah. Yeah, great idea. Yeah. yeah, go on. Go and give that a go. Yeah, that's great. We'll end it like that. And then bow and wish everyone a Merry Christmas. It's not going to be Christmas, though, is it, Pat? Uh, yeah, sorry, yeah. I, I, I mean winter. Right, so the song finishes and you bow and bow and bow and Merry... Merry winter, Merry everyone. winter, everyone. Yeah, maybe, maybe there we just sort of bow and then wave, because I, I don't think anyone says Merry Winter. No, nobody says Merry Winter. Oh, Pat, yeah. Pat, uh, whilst you were having a nap, mm -hmm. we were having to think about what to do if we end up having to stream the show. Yeah. So we were thinking that, um, that the show could be like a rehearsal with the director on Zoom or something and that the camera filming the show would be the director on Zoom. So the audience would be watching it from the director's point of view. Nah, that would be a right load of pretentious rubbish. Join in the dance with Sophie. I 
think it probably works much better with just her. Uh, you just stand at the back of the stage and admire her. Deck, I was thinking to make it clear that you and Sophie are both supposed to be prostitutes, we should probably have some sort of costume, you know, that you can slip on quickly. Um, I was thinking something like this, a conical bra, you know, a bra with um, cones on. Sophie, do you think you'd be able to make me a couple of conical bras? Sophie, um, yeah, the whole thing's actually only running at 45 minutes. Do you think maybe you could take the guys off and rehearse another eight songs? <laughs> Right, Lynn. Yeah, Japanese kabuki theatre was very popular in Victorian times. Yeah. Um, Sophie, do you think maybe you could go and rehearse a ten-minute kabuki theatre section? <laughs> <laughs> 